Well, welcome back, my friends, to another rousing rendition of Choir Boys Cutler. Drop my sunglasses there. Before we get in the video, too far as I'm getting situated, 22 veterans a day in this country take their own lives. It's a number that's staggering. It's one that we talk about every video. And we will talk about it every video because we need to bring awareness. And that's kind of where uh, this channel comes in. Yes, we're a knife channel. The vets, we want to bring some awareness to it and we want to bring some help. No, we don't have uh, answers. That's why we want to bring awareness. We love you. Don't fight this fight alone. You fought for us. Let us fight for you. We back the blue here. We support Leo. How do you do that, Scab? By not breaking the damn law. And finally, if you're an addict, never quit quitting. Now, today we're doing SP-10 Marine Raider Bowie from Ontario. The iteration that I have is 1075. I think I jumped on the train right as they were making the switch from 1095 to 1075. Uh, but, uh, you know, there are some models out there uh, on eBay and such. A couple of guys had, had uh, said they found some. I think one guy actually bought one, and I appreciate him bringing that to our attention. Uh, any info like that is always good to have. Listen, the blade on this thing is about nine and three quarters with a nine inch cutting surface. Or that's what mine is now, and I don't know what you got. Mine's about a nine inch cutting surface with um, the handle is right at five and a quarter inches long. It's really comfortable. It's, it's that rubberized stuff, and they, if they got a special name for it, it is what it is. But now mine's a quarter inch thick. I say mine, most of them are probably a quarter inch thick. And you can see right here, now I sped this video up, obviously, or this section of the video, um, because it, it was about six minutes. I just went through, did some hacking and cutting. Now, this is the part of the video where I need everybody that loves trees to pay attention. This is an area that they're going to bring bulldozers in and clear everything out of here. Everything's got to go. It's like a clearance sale. So what I do is I come out a little beforehand with my little knives, and I do some cutting. Now, if that offends you, find another channel. This stuff's got to come out anyway, and so this is a prime opportunity to get rid of it. And these are the stupid-ass hackingberry trees that are good for nothing anyway. So there's that. Don't really want to hear it. All right, so what do I think of Marine Raider Bowie? Well, there's a lot of history to it. Uh, the Marine Raiders of World War II were some bad, bad dudes. Uh, highly skilled, highly specialized and, and, and are some of my favorites to study. Uh, so this, this, this buoy is obviously in honor of them. Now, my guy Donovan too has some sweet, sweet, sweet renditions. Uh, and I think he's actually got a video. Matter of fact, I know he does. So check out Donovan's video on some, uh, on some, on some, uh, iterations that are just absolutely gorgeous. This one is a modern version. And like I said, it's got kind of a rubberized handle. Um, the, the tang is enclosed, uh, but it is, it's thick and it runs the length of the knife. Now, is it full tang? I don't know what you call it and don't care. I've busted cinder blocks and everything else with this knife and it's held up great. There's videos on that if you want to see it. It, it's a good, good slicer. I think this would be a good camp knife. I really do. Um, I've got a lot of time in on this knife, and I've put a pretty nice edge on it. Uh, again, this is a 25 degree edge bevel. Now, some people don't like that, and that's the beautiful thing about the knife world, is you can put whatever edge bevel you want on it, and whatever you're good at. I'm not saying that's smart. Some people like different edge bevels. Um, I prefer the 25 because of the amount of abuse that I put on a knife. Look at that. Well, Scab did him a job on that one, son. Looking good, Scabber. Now, right there at the bottom of the blade, let me just say this. That at the bottom of the, of the blade, there's about a little eighth inch uh, whoop de doo in there. I guess you could probably, it looks like uh, you could cut chain link fence with it or something, but you can't. Now, I will say this. That is a massive pain in the ass when you're cutting stuff like this here. It kept getting caught down there, and it's just right at the bottom of the blade, so you have to be careful. Now, this is that old, it ain't silk fence, it's construction fence. And and uh, the Marine Raider buoy just blew through this stuff. Like I said, put a good edge on it. And I know sometimes I don't always uh, communicate 
you know, exactly uh, what I'm thinking or I speak in half thoughts. And kind of to follow up what I was saying yesterday about the SP6. I've had both of these knives for about a year and a half to two years. Out of the box, they were eh, they were okay. They really were. Um, I think of the four or five Ontarios I have, I've had to put an edge on all of them, and I'm fine with that. I am perfectly fine with it. This buoy did not cost me 60 bucks. I think it was, I think I paid at the time around 50. I might have got it on an Amazon special if you want the truth. Um, I think right now it's between 50 and 70 bucks, and it's just a heck of a deal. You can't, this is probably the best budget knife I have. I don't, you know, I know there's probably some better ones out there. I'm sure there are, uh, since I said that, and everybody knows better than I do. So, but this one's probably the best budget I got. It's a huge knife, and it, it just goes to work. The whole reason I, I was saying about the sharpness of the knife, and that, that's on you. Captain Electro did a pretty good job on a video this morning, um, and he had a lot of great points on sharpening. The, the best point he made was you could spend hours and hours and hours doing videos on sharpening. What works for you may not work for me. So let me encourage you guys right here. If you got a, if you've got something like this, if you've got an Ontario, and I know, I know a lot of y'all do. This is where a thick knife comes in handy too. You can drive that sucker right in the ground. If that was a, a, a tent post or a punji stick or whatever, you know, split it right in twain right there. Of course, you know, didn't think to lower the camera, but that's old scabber. What else do you want from me? All right. Now we're back to some of our tests. Now here's where some sharpness does come in. And I say the sharpness is up to you because there are certain knife companies, and, and I love Ontario. It's American made. It's all of those things. Just know that when you buy in Ontario, the, the lower end, the budget models, you're going to have to put some time in it. It's like buying cold steel tomahawks or help CRKT tomahawks. You're going to have to sharpen them up. And I'm okay with that, especially for the price. You know, now if I, if I paid $150 for this, yeah, I, it better have a nice edge profile and all that, but I didn't. So, you know, for, for sub 60 bucks, I spent, I've probably got about two hours in on this blade as far as sharpening and getting in shape. And that's really not that bad. Let's see what it does with this nylon rope. Boop. Cuts it right in twain, son. Some twainage. I love the knife. It's a heavy knife. It is a tremendous, tremendous chopper. Um, I've got enough time and work in on the blade that it's a good slicer. Do I think it's a good camp knife? Yeah. Yeah. Now, I know what's coming. It's good, good for self-defense. Yeah. I, I guess. I mean, I don't know. You know? Yeah, you'd be better off not getting a situation where you'd need a, a nine-inch buoy knife. But, that, you know, hey, that's on you. Um, I can tell you this. As far as defense, like if somebody's coming at me, if I start swinging it as hard as I can, it, you know, God bless them if they can get out of the way of it. Now, again, I did, I did, I think, a pretty good job of mixing up the slicing and the chopping. Like, I know I sped that one part up, but guys, it was just six minutes of me walking through the woods, kind of going ahead and getting a line of sight um, so they can shoot a tangent line on it tomorrow. Uh, but, you know... I, I, I just didn't, that's a lot of time to just watch me whack and move. So, you know, I'm sped that up. The knife handles really, really good. Um, I enjoy it. I, and before I got the Preacher, I'll say this, before I got the Preacher, I carried this knife all the time. So that's what I'm saying. I got a lot of time in on it, and I enjoy the knife. It, it's, it's, it's robust. It gives you a lot of confidence in hand. But I'll be honest with you, man. It moves fast. Do I recommend the knife? Absolutely. Absolutely. Just like the SP6, though, are there better options? Sure there are. It just depends on what you want to spend. I'd say this is a really, really good uh, beginner buoy. Now, here's the Donnie B All Day Drop Test, one of my favorite tests. That's where I just hold the knife up and drop it. But you see the center of balance. Now, got some good throws in there. Now, one thing I will say. I'm only back two or three feet and slinging it. And then we'll do a couple stabs right here. But y'all see how it's biting in to that stump. Now watch this here. Really good bite right there. I'm telling you. And no hot spot. Again, 
The SP6 didn't have any hot spots on the handle. SP10 didn't have any hot spots that I found. And I about two or three hours in on it today of just getting out there swinging. And like I said, probably, I don't know, if we're going to be honest, seven or eight months solid of it being an everyday carry. It's a great knife. I, yes, I recommend it. For some of you younger uh, guys, or guys, if you got uh, some teenage sons, this might be a great beginner buoy. Uh, teach them how to sharpen it up. Teach them some responsibility and using it in the woods, and it'll give them a knife that's reliable. Guys, listen, I love y'all. God bless y'all. I'm Scab. You're not. See you next time.